This is just the beginning. You guys have only been out here for two hours. Hell Week's going to be five days long. The test comes when it's tough. Anybody can do it when it's easy. One, two. Come on, guys. This is where you push through the pain, fellas. This is where you push through the pain. Let's go, guys. My name is Mark Devine, founder of NavySeal.com. Welcome to Hell Week. In this training, we're going to teach you to be tough. We're going to teach you to be strong. We're going to teach you not to quit. So join us and kick some butt. Hi, I'm Rob Orr. I've got six years active duty in special operations. We're going to tear them down, we're going to build them back up, and we're going to help them find their own limits. Get it in your Hollywood hair. Let's go. Some of you guys are sucking it up, and you're taking the pain, and you're putting out. Some of you other guys are just laying there with your feet on the deck. That's not going to cut it. My name's Mike Sowers. I was a U.S. Navy SEAL for 11 years. Today, we're going to teach these guys a little lesson called Hell Week. What was that fable where the, uh, the hair on their chinny chin chin? The three little pigs, look at it. Be careful, man. Big bad wolf come after you. When you're sitting on the keyboard and you're warm and cozy in your parents' house, and you're like, wow, I want to be a Navy SEAL. And you're typing on your keyboard talking about how badass you are. You actually come out here and you test yourself against other guys who are tough and who are ready for the challenge. That's when you find out what you're made of. That's when you find out if you have what it takes. Physically, there's some guys in here that look like crap. Mentally, we'll find out a little later today. We're trying to shock these guys into reality. We want to take them out of their comfort zone and let them understand that what, what they've asked to do, what they're volunteering for, Navy SEAL training, is not Boy Scout camp. I mean, this is serious business. They've got to be prepared for it mentally and physically. They've got a long road to go. Now we're going to give them a little skills training with some logs. We're going to have them take the logs down to the beach, and then we're going to beat the shit out of them down there. Pair of those. I'm glad you're wearing them. Drop around. Don't litter on my grinder. You need to ask yourself is what do these guys have that I don't have? It's not physical. It is an unwillingness to quit. It's an unwillingness to give up. If you don't have that, then you don't belong here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sesame there. Street paid off. Gentlemen, during Hell Week, you may well have to do a thousand of these in a row. 1,008 count bodybuilders, can you do it? You're at 10 and you're dying right now. Chicks do this for yoga. We got logs for them. Everything experienced as a seal and buds, this is what we're gonna test them with. We're gonna bring everything and we're gonna break them on the rocks and see what happens. You guys think these are just for decoration? Or maybe they're, you know, filled with styrofoam? They're not. They're big, they're heavy. They're for you, all ears. Somebody's not pulling their weight, the SEAL community, they're gone. That's why we have Hell Week. That's why we have that little bell there. You're going to be taking that log all the way down to the beach. Call the police. I'm strapped to the teeth. And live on the What we're doing is log PT, which is a team building exercise. I've got to uh, manipulate this log, which is much heavier than uh, what any individual can um, handle themselves. And so we put them on a log, they need, they need to get it up above their head, they need to move with it, they need to communicate, they need to coordinate actions, so it's a really uh, terrific team building exercise. Alright, log up! Well, we can push anyone to the point of quitting. The purpose of our training is to essentially teach them how to get to that point and then carry on. 75% of the guys will quit or roll out of the training. The 25% who remain are the guys you want to go into combat with. I want you to take that sandbag out of your pocket, go up to that berm right there, put a bunch of dry sand in there. I brought a little stopwatch with me so I could check and see that you guys are moving fast enough. Go. While they're out there filling up their sandbag, they've got about uh, another 15 seconds to finish up. If they're not all back, then uh, they'll do it over and over until they get it right. We'll be taking these guys, we'll be using a little bit of physical pain, taking the breaking point mentally, and see where they progress. It might be difficult, it's not impossible. One of the things that we're looking for is for them to really dig deeply and to start to recognize that they're capable of a lot more than they think they are intellectually, right? And so that's that warrior spirit. You guys are starting to fucking test yourselves. All right, here we go, push up. Massa, you ain't gonna make it, okay? You're not gonna make it, all right? Not like that. 
That looks like shit. Get your ass up. Words don't mean a thing, and I know that I won't be satisfied. So why try ignore him? Make a dirt dance floor again. Say it pretty And what we want them to know is that they're capable of 20 times more than they thought they were previously capable of when they started training. So when they hit that moment where they understand what they're truly capable of, that's when we've got victory in terms of our training. Stop and burn back before they get back. Go. Come on, guys. Get it together. Let's go, guys. Straighten them legs out. You know what the difference between strength and weakness is? Right up here, the mind, all right? If you don't think you can do it, you can't do it, okay? Get them up. These guys were worn out. They've had four-hour PT on the beach, and now they're pushing themselves to the limits. Sometimes when one guy quits, the whole boat crew quits. We're showing these guys it takes more than just brute strength. It takes mental toughness. And that's what these guys are showing right here, mental toughness. They have to work as a team. If these guys do not work as a team, they won't get through this evolution. I enjoy building uh, character. Uh, it's something that's very important to me. It's a very noble cause to try to um, become a Navy SEAL. Welcome to Hell Week!